costings. How much does it cost to run an operation? Like a, 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 a you know, a photogrammetry operation or a, or an inspection operation. So it got me thinking, do a video, do a breakdown video of how that operation works and the costings behind that. So what we're going to look at today is we're going to look at drone costs, camera costs, if you have an additional camera, so if you've got a bigger bit of kit that needs an additional camera, software costs, insurance costs, training and certification costs, compliance costs, travel costs, health and safety costs, and operational costs. So let's press on and you can see each of those sections in turn. Number one is drone cost. So for this operation, we used a Mavic 2 Pro, as you can see there. Second hand price, you're looking at around seven to 800 pounds. And then you either add your tablet or your smart controller, you're probably looking at around a thousand pounds. Number two would be camera cost. So we don't have to worry about that in this operation as the camera is already attached to the Mavic 2 Pro, which it's a Hasselblad camera. But if you were to be using something like an M300, you'd probably be looking at the P1 camera, which is upwards of around 10,000 pounds. But we've found to, uh, that, that to give some very, very good results in both surveys and photogrammetry. Number three, we'd be looking at software. As you can see, we have our Hammer Missions pricing plans up there. Number four, we have drone insurance. So on the screen at the moment, we have Cover Drone, which is one of a few. And Moonrock. So both very competitive companies. And you'd probably be looking at around the £300 a year mark to get your liability insurance and to cover your drone and your kit for flight. Number five, you would be looking at training costs. So as a drone pilot, you are going to need a certification. So there's several different certifications. And in this instance, we'd be looking at GVC um, from, we have two companies there, both iRed and Heliguy. Now these prices can vary depending on which company you go for, but you'd be looking at a cost of around 700 pounds to get your complete certification. Number six, you'd be looking at compliance costs. So this can be anything from logging your operations to renewing your certification with the CAA. So generally this can cost anywhere between 200 and 400 pounds so we'll say an average of 300 pounds a year number seven we have travel cost now this can vary hugely over the course of the year you could have anything from you know your your general travel in your car to hotel stays but in our particular instance here we weren't actually going very far. So I would say an average per year for a, a, a general operator would be looking at around probably the £500 a year mark for your travel costs. And last but not least, a combined eight and nine. You have health and safety costs and operational costs. Now, both of these are more a kind of time consuming cost than a monetary cost so health and safety you have to look at when you're actually in the field operating do you have any public ingress are you going to have to cordon an area off um, so the flight is safe do you have any you know, low flying aircraft are there any obstacles it's more time consuming on site checking for those health and safety issues and then you have operational costs 
So your time on site, your getting permissions, your general administration, all of these are again, not so much a, a cost exercise, they're more of a time exercise. So there you go folks, that is our costing exercise. Um, I think you'll find, you know, prices actually aren't that bad. And the more you use your your aircraft or your drone, the more the price will come down because it's kind of the value um, outweighs the cost, so to speak. So all in all, you're looking at a cost of around £5,800 a year-ish for the sort of operation that I did today um so yeah that's that's the basic costings obviously costings can change depending on your your aircraft or your operation so there you go um i hope you've liked the video i hope you like all our videos um if you've got any comments um please drop us a comment in the uh, comments box below and um you can get hold of us anytime on team at hammermissions.com so um so leaves me to say thanks very much for watching. Catch you again soon.